This is like watching the same season of Drag Race all socks. over again with two contestants that both need to been, uh, both need to sashay away. They're ill, Ill queens. Years ago, this is the same. Why are we? Why are we? Eight years later, the same two queens are trying to lip sync for the legacy. There's no one else in the world that wants is trying to be to audition to, to, to audition to be the next American president of, of RuPaul's Drag Race. It's like <laughs> no one else. But Camel not, to be, not to be political. We have to say that. We have to say not to be political. I'm not being political. I'm just saying. All right, everyone, welcome to Out and About. It is Wednesday, February 28th. Old Trish is under the knife as we speak, which means Nana is probably by my bedside praying uh, either on my demise or on my recovery or asking the doctor to pull the plug. Well, I'm actually with a shaman speaking in tongue over your, <laughs> of your dead corpse, trying to, re to revive the old gal. <laughs> now, Nana's, Nana, Nana's speaking Farsi by my side with a shot with a, uh, what's the thing where they light on fire and you like D? What was the thing you'd use to put by the, my desk? You'd light it on fire to get rid of spirits? Sage. Sage. You're saging the corpse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's it. Um, to get any, rid, any, rid, rid of any bad jujus. Any bad jujus. And that was not a Palestine uh, 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 protest either. Point of privilege. Thank you for checking the tapes mm -hmm. on that. So yeah, uh, you're going to have a guest host in on Friday. I may try and call in. But the recovery is underway. This is my story. It's my truth. And I'm ready to live it publicly. I think my recovery um, is a story that people need to hear. It's one of resilience. This is your third surgery since I've known you. I, isn't that weird? And I think I'm in good health. I'm just not in good health. I'm pre-diabetic. My I'm father actually called and asked about what was going on with health, and I said, "Who? Did he really? Yeah. He was like, what's wrong with her arm?'" I was like, "I don't know." And then she's now she's diabetic. I said, <laughs> "I said, girl, why don't you call her and ask the questions?" I would have loved. I'm under. I'm under. I'm under um, local anesthesia right now. Well, you are. You're under. You didn't want to violate HIPAA because you're. Joey's a medical proxy, so I give him all my info. But just to let you guys know, if, if Nana starts spewing facts about where my health is at, you can go ahead and report him. Vinny, can you Google where my sciatica is? I have a. a I have an excruciating pain in my, my my lower back region. That's what my grandmother had. She had horrible diabetes. She had sciatica on her sciatic nerve. Your sciatic, so does that mean I'm diabetic? Your sciatic nerve. God, I hope so. That, no, mine's on this side though. Go to the definition, Vinny. I'll read it out. No, it's, there's only one side of sciatica. Your sciatic nerve is a long, important nerve that starts just outside your spine and then travels through your pelvis. Now, I had a long, important nerve from Diego's crotch earlier. <laughs> into your <laughs> butt, and then through each thigh and leg. Okay, so it splits it. No, it's on my back. It's like right here. I, maybe it's a bed sore. It's the le <laughs> That's more likely. More likely it's a bed sore from Nana. How many hours did we spend uh, horizontal this weekend over under 15? What is horizontal? Sleeping? Laying down. It's a hard um, over. Well, I was busy and I was here and there, but I did. I I have. I did put myself down medic with um, medications most days. Well, that's good. So we're looking at plus twelve hours laying down every day. I'm looking forward oh. to doing nothing and just laying there and just being on drugs for like How three days. How long do you have to stay in the hospital for? It's a day, so it's outpatient. So I'm out. But then, God bless my mother. Phyllis is coming down. She's going to take care of me for a day or two. Mrs. Dow Jones is going to come over, hang out. A couple other people. You're welcome to. No, stop by if you, if you can make the trek down. I'd be happy to send you but a what car. Is it, how, no what, is, what is what is what does it entail to, um, for to um, excuse me? My ride is here. <laughs> what does it entail to take care of a, 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 a wounded shoulder victim? Like what? Like what are the do's and don'ts of like of care of, of aftercare? So you will be changed my bedpan. <laughs> so I'm gonna go right in the bed. Number one, number two, you'll be changed that out. Have you ever pissed in a bed? When you in a bedpan. Do you know it's like not actually a toilet in the bed? It's literally just lunch tray they stick under your ass. It you shit. doesn't like the actual hospital thing. It's like a trap door, and that's where the bedpan goes. You just shit and piss into it. No, but I don't think then. Then where? Then where were the? Is there a little square of bed that squeezes into yeah, it? Yeah, I think. And so. And then they remove that like that cushion piece. Oh, uh, here's a bedpan. Yeah. But how does it? How does, what is the bed? So are you laying on the shitter this whole time? Male urinal. Uh, I guess I don't know. I love that male you. urinal thing. I used to use it all the time. You ever seen the show My Six Hundred Pound Life? I've those people on TLC, that's, those people have that's bed That's how I pants. got my name stake in the, in, the <laughs> in the industry. That was back, back, back pre will go. That's going to be you. Go down. You know what I'm talking no, about. No, you know which one. That's there it trash. is, man. That's literally Joey changing my diaper. <laughs> I, this whole thing is, you realize this whole... <laughs> <laughs> can you print that or save like save that to your, or text it to me so I can, I can send that to At the At the next live show, I'm going to autograph bed pans and hand them out. Yeah, you know I'm just going to... Fa I'm faking the whole thing so Joey has to change my shit pans. This entire what is thing that? Is what is that guy? Is, what's that young man doing over there? Who? That young boy. Is he touching his father's genitals? Okay. He's got a sly. <laughs> spot. He has the sly emoji on him, on his face. Yeah, He's doing that something face. wrong. That that face. He's jerking off. That's onto Diego. His... <laughs> um. No, but yeah. So what kind of aftercare? Are you? You're able to get up? Because I mean, I can't imagine your shoulder hurting. I've heard. 
I've gotten like deep tissue massages in a bad neighborhood that hurt more than the <laughs> fucking your surgery's gonna call hurt. Uh, yeah, I know. I'll be able to like move and shit. It's just gonna be tough. That's all for like a week, and then I'll fucking start to recover. So it's gonna stink, but it's better than you know injuring my head or something. I guess and I'm gonna have a steady stream of visitors. Do you get to choose where your scar goes? Um, no. It's gonna go on my shoulder. It's a cesarean. I have them going through my womb to do my shoulder. No, it's gonna be orthoscopic, so it's on my uh, my right shoulder. But it, the surgery that I'm only in there from like 7:30 in the morning till, and then they let me out allegedly at like 1:15, and then I'm done. But the surgery probably only oh, takes like 45 minutes. Yeah, tops. that's what they said. It's like an hour for the. Yeah, I've done surgery. it before. You performed it. Mm-hmm. Now, Nana, believe it or not, when she was in Russia, she actually was on the QVC as well as an orthopedic surgeon on the side. On the front lines. She was on the, you were on the front lines of the war uh, in Ukraine. By the way, Ukraine is joining NATO. Quick, uh, I know everyone, <laughs> in Man, everyone in Man Mafia is very interested in that. Ukraine is joining NATO, which I assume we will be pulling out Who's of in NATO? November 2024. That, that's like the big, isn't that the big? Yeah, NATO is. Is that the guy that sings the thong song? That is Cisco. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> NATO. NATO is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. I want a treat. What kind of treat are you looking at? I don't know. Something with cheese on it. You're hungry? No, you, I'm you're not hungry. you hungry, girl? No, I already had breakfast. What'd you eat? Pussy? I just ordered an omelet. Ordered an omelet from where? Um, this, restu- I, uh, this restaurant I was at. I feel, <laughs> I feel like you ordering breakfast is a wild move. Wouldn't you just cook an omelet? I feel like you cook everything, but omelet is the easiest thing to cook. You'll cook no, up like a pan seared salmon or something, but you, omelet? omelet is a, one of the hardest things to cook in culinary school. That's how they challenge you. As when you go to a restaurant and then they're try, you're trying to be a chef, that's the, the thing they make you make to, to let you know if you're legit or not. Really? What? It's the hardest thing to make in, in the no world. I had no idea. I thought it was very easy. You just to make a French, French, you're no. making that up. I swear my mother. It's it's the hardest thing, um, technically, the hardest technical thing to cook perfectly. Because you got to seal it up? And no, because there's not supposed to be one speck of brown on it. It all well, has to be completely colorless and to be a perfect omelet and per- perfectly rolled. It's a bit. It's the hardest technique to just like the Bob haircut and haircutting. The Bob haircut. Like the Bob, the Bob haircut. haircut is the most difficult. What? Why? The Bob haircut is it's the most be difficult because it has to be perfect. And the, but the omelet is the most difficult thing technique to to do in a, in, in all of culinary. Google it. It's true. Culinary. French omelet. God damn. I can't even. Make, I've, 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 I've tried. That's what people practice. Like if you go to a restaurant, you're going to job. They say, "Make me an omelet." And then that's how you, that's how you know if I you're hired no or not. Idea. If you can't do it, you're fucked. <laughs> I wrote a will out, by the way, for surgery. Girl, for you're, that credenza, you're in it. Yep. You got, I go, Joey gets my Wayfair credenza. Do I get the credenza? Yeah. You you know what you can have you can have my uh, my marble cabinet. Isn't that the credenza? No, that, I have a different credenza. What's it? What is the difference between a cabinet and a credenza to you? Credenza is the long, skinny thing. This that's, that's a more console like a bar table. Cart. That's a console table. No, I have a credenza. What's a credenza? Credenza is like what the TV goes on. It's That's like a, a, long, a console skinny. table. Oh well, I, well, then I have a console table under my fucking under my thing. There you go. Well, is there anything you'd like of mine? Oh my god, is this my doctor? It is. Answer it <gasps> fine. All right, Live. no one say anything. This is my doctor for surge. I'm screaming the N word. Do not, Joey. <laughs> Hello. Uh, good morning. May I speak to Patrick, please? Yeah, this she- is him. Hi, Patrick. My name is I'm calling from the Outpatient Surgery Center here at NYU. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. So, Patrick, I see you're on our schedule to have surgery with Dr. Erickson this coming Wednesday, uh-huh. February the 28th. Do you have a few minutes to review your medical history and the instructions for surgery? Yes, I do. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, Patrick, can you please confirm the spelling of your first and last name? Patrick. P A T R I C K, last name McAuliffe, M C A U L I F F E. If this gets weird, I'm getting rid of it. And I see you listed in your chart, you have allergies to penicillin. Yes. And for H A B? There's like food allergies, but no. Patrick, do you currently take any medications that are prescribed? Uh, I take Adderall. Truvada. Adderall? I do take vitamin D. Okay. Anally. Uh, so we do ask, did you take it today already? Yes. And what okay. was the black gentleman's name? Uh, so starting tomorrow, please don't take it. Okay. Until after surgery. Mm-hmm. Do you wear contact lenses? No. Do you wear women's clothing? And do you have any loose or wiggling teeth or anything that's removable like a retainer? No, my no, ass I don't. will wiggle. 
personal history of diabetes? I'm pre-diabetic. Okay. Have you ever had a blood transfusion in the past? No. Okay. In the event of a medical emergency, is there any reason for you to refuse blood transfusion? I'm gay. I can't. Um. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you, Patrick. All right. Bye bye. Have a great day. Bye. She didn't ask it. She didn't ask it. She was you thinking thought it. Though. She was gonna ask. She it. was thinking it. She already had it written down from prior from prior visits. From prior visits, she was all business. Well, how much? Why would you need to take Adderall the morning of your surgery if you're gonna be relaxed? Don't you? Do you take Adderall to so, to so you can suppress your habit, right? No, I take it so I can focus, brother. Focus on what? Not ordering. No, focus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I keep but isn't that what Adderall is? Isn't that like, is like, isn't that for addicts that, that, that try, want to do it all day long but can't no, physically do it? No, that's methadone. No. Adderall is used so you can focus, so I can stay close to the Lord, grounded. Just, it's just legal That's what it's I mean. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, people. I was, I was going to try and beat the anesthesia, see if I could really maybe up the twice my dosage. They're like, <laughs> sir, we're not, you're, he's not going down. Oh, did you have a trouble falling asleep? Do you think you're not going to be able to pass out during this no, procedure? No, I'll definitely be able to pass out. When I got my appendix out, they were like, okay, here you go. They're like, try and stay awake as long you as you can. As long as you can. You I was like, oh, yeah, I can stay. Yeah. And I was out in like two seconds. You took the paralyzing medicine, paralyzing medicine and then stayed awake full time? You did? No, this guy got his something called heart, open heart surgery. No, maybe not heart surgery. Some really intense surgery. Yeah. And they gave him a pill to take that paralyzed his body. And they didn't give him enough gas. So he was paralyzed. Oh. Couldn't move or talk, but he could feel everything. Good Because they, they didn't knock him out. Uh, he didn't want to say something? He couldn't. He was paralyzed. So he's just sitting Were there. his eyes open, though? No. Like, I don't know. That's insane. Try yeah, to signal, it's all over the news. Try to signal that with your eyes that you're, that you're not awake, that you're not, like, but you can't move anything okay. else. If I eye. was looking like this. Well, I have so much Botox, I can't. It'll be like this. That's what you say? Yeah. I go, are you an organ donor? I don't think so. I don't know. How I had do to put know? down that I was an organ donor. Who would want your organs? Exactly. You're shutting down at, at 30 years old. <laughs> 34. What happened to Diego's hair? You put a cute little ba banana clip in him. Is it in there still? No. It is a very that. interesting choice. Diego's wearing gray sweats today. He has a mustache. Yeah, I didn't shave. I was in a rush this morning. <laughs> How many days of a stash is that? Like two days. Damn. Yeah. Do you usually shave your face? Yeah, because it just looks like pubes on my face if I don't. That's okay. Is that Ralph Lauren? Yes. So, yeah. So we're ready to go. Who are you going to have in for a guest host? Someone special? I haven't decided yet. I'll pick it up. You should have auditions. Maybe a, a, maybe a Kelly Keegs. Maybe a a Feidelberg. Maybe a Roan. Maybe a Tommy Smokes. People love Tommy Smokes. I'm going to pick someone outside the brand Ooh. to come in. Okay. I like maybe that. My, maybe Leah. my flower lady. You, ha you, should have your <laughs> you should have your cleaning ladies come in and do the show with you. <laughs> No, they're busy. Uh, they're busy that day. <laughs> an expose. Got, what it's really I've like to work for a Joey Tree this week. So they got they got, they got they, their, their work cut out for them. Oh my god! Unfortunately. What? So you hung out all weekend. You you laid low. You're feeling refreshed. You're feeling rejuvenated. You're ready to come. Yeah. Well, the except week, for my back, my lower back pain. But yeah, I don't know what that could be. But I think I'm going to take um an Aleve maybe. I'm not allowed to have those. An NSAID. I'm not allowed to have them before because it'll, it'll cause. She bleeding. didn't say anything about that. It says it in my in my my chart. Oh, my neighbor upstairs, the bitch who's fucking stomping, I wrote a note for because it's happening again, but I'm afraid to deliver the note. How are you going to deliver it? Via bird carrier? I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> you want to pull up the note, Vinny? I wrote this. Tell me if there's a bad note to leave. Joey, she's doing laps. It sounds like she's doing 10,000 steps on her fucking... Is she training for the marathon? Oh, you wrote it. Hand yeah, I wrote it out. Handwritten. Hi, neighbor. You don't know her name. I have no idea. Why didn't you find out her name? That would scare, scare some sense into her that you know, bitch, I know who you are. I had Grace O'Malley at my house the other day before we went to this party, and yeah. she was like... Like, don't go up there and knock on the door because it's scary if it's like a woman, I guess, at her house and this big fucking guy comes knocking on her door late at night to tell her to shut up. That's well, scary. was it loud? Did, did, did your guests say that it was loud? No, but I heard her for like a split second. And Grace was like, ooh. And so I, she's like, write the note. So this is the note that I wrote out if you want to read okay, it out. Okay, can you zoom in, please? Or can you have it on your phone? I'll read it from your phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is now. The handwriting looks aggressive. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the issue. And there's a there's a there's a under you underline some things. I can read. You want me to read it? Yeah, Vinny, read it out. This might be bad. I tried to be non-confrontational while I wrote it. Hi, neighbor. My name is Pat, <laughs> and I live directly below you. 
I'm not sure you realize, but the floors in this building are extremely thin. That's what he underlined. Underlined. Extremely. Extremely. Right? <laughs> from, from my apartment, it sounds like you are wearing cement shoes. <laughs> I am not trying to be a pesky neighbor, but if there is any way you could reduce the noise, especially when it's such a a little later. Oh, especially when? When it, it sets. It gets, what is it? it gets a oh, little it later. Gets. I would really appreciate it. Slippers instead of boots? <laughs> Rugs? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, anything. She, is she wearing boots and not? She wears a fucking. T- I've seen her walk out the house. I've like. Do you know what she looks like? I've like torn like a fucking <laughs> hamstring getting up to get a glimpse of this woman, and she wears like. How do you know it's her? Because is you, there only one neighbor upstairs? Yeah, there's only one person directly above me. But how do you know there's not two you know, two apartments on that floor? Yeah, but the other one is across the hall, which does it like light up with mine. But how do you know it's not the other person walking down the stairs? This is them in their apartment making noise. I know, but how, when she's walking down the stairs, how do you know it's that? Because I'll hear so, her door shut. Oh. Uh, it finishes off with conversely. If I'm ever this is where I was being nice. What does I'm conversely ever, mean? Like, like on the flip side. On the flip side, yeah. yeah. If you ever, if I'm ever too loud down here, please, please do not do hesitate to not reach hesitate me. To reach out, thanks, Pat. That's fine, right? Yeah, but if I saw that, like a normal person would be like, "Oh, let me tone it down." But I think she's just gonna step it up, dude. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a pesky neighbor. Is funny, but also I think the, cement shoes. The end. No, yeah, the end of the third paragraph I think is the worst. I know. I, I added <laughs> that. Read that. I can't. Slippers, <laughs> rugs. He's like, I don't he's know. like slippers instead of boots, rugs. I don't uh, know. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Like that's so crazy. <laughs> is that fine? I think it's funny. It's, so it, when's it, is it? So it's definitely she's wearing shoes inside the house. Yes, which is fine, but Disgusting she wears it is. fucking like I've seen her leave <laughs> is she like fat? army boots. Not really. She's just stupid. <laughs> like she will go. I'm not even kidding. She'll go from one side of her apartment to the other, probably over twenty times. What are the trigger in, times? In like when is hour? she? When is she most? What is she most or, active? Early morning, late at night. Like if she's getting ready to leave the house, brother. But who's it sounds wearing, like gunshots going First of all, who's wearing upstairs. shoes in the house? Second of all. Who's wearing shoes late at night? Is she getting ready to go out or she comes home? I, and I think she's on She both. puts them on. Maybe she's, is she, is she a runway model? No, oh God, no, she's not a runway model. I heard her at like four in the morning the other day, like zipping around upstairs. I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? Does she have a greyhound? No, no. Why? Well, I know dogs like to run. I know, maybe she was, she has a dog that wears high heel shoes. That's true. <laughs> That's true. She's training a greyhound. <laughs> She's, she, she goes, oh, that's not me. That's my dog in heels. Are you confident you're never too loud? Yeah. Because that's your big problem. Dude, if I you do no one noise. thing wrong, you're cooked. Well, he already apologized in advance if it happens. But like, how are you, are you going to slip it under the door? Are you going to – What? maybe you add a picture. Of what? Of yourself so she knows who you are. I add a picture? My original thought was like to give her like a – but that everyone was like, that's really weird to give her like an Amazon gift card or something. Why are you what? paying her? I don't know. To be like, nice. Uh, my worst here is that I do this and she goes, fuck you. And it gets worse. I think you need to knock. Well, I then you get like a, a stick and hit your. I've done that. Really? No. You so you're going to slip it under your door when she's not home? Or are you going to tape it to the door? I'm going to tape it to the door. And then my next note is going to be, What's it? I'm sorry it had to end this way. This is war. And then we're on. <laughs> or you should just start writing other like letters. I write it out in block names. letters. I tape magazine yeah. letters together like a ransom. But wait house. a second. Is there another person on your floor? Do they hear the same thing? Because it yeah, can't be just your saying. floor. Does anyone else hear it? Or so just I'm you? on the first floor and then the then there's a girl above me. That's so it. So there's no other person on your floor? Not that would be affected by this. The apartments mirror each other. So like the first floor I apartment. I understand, but like if she's that, if it's that loud, it's, it's, the floor is a floor. It's like the, the apartments are this far apart from each other. It's not, it's not that, per, that person would hear it too probably. So you're saying not I, should as loud che- as yours. I should check with another neighbor? Yeah. Yeah. And just be like, hey, do you hear this? And then, if it, and then if it is, it's like a group effort, and then you don't feel as bad. Like, hey, do you hear that loud twat upstairs <laughs> stomping around? <laughs> or is should just I me? just sign like it is a bunch of That's people? what I was trying to say. Should I just sign be like, hey, it's your neighbors on the first floor, but then what if she talks to my other neighbor? What, like if, they, what if the neighbor downstairs is her sister in law or something? Exactly. Should I risk it? No, yeah. I wouldn't risk it. That's why I st- should I sign a fake, hey, everyone in the building is upset with you? Well, you have to, you have to type it. Yeah, I mean, the handwriting is really. And you said your name. I mean, I like the idea of the note. I mean, I, I would just like, the thing is when you leave this note, you're going to be terrified for the rest of your life to ever run into her again. Exactly. So that's why I'm saying, I think what Vinny was saying is like, if you if you go up and just like yeah. say, hey, sorry. 
I just like had really, surgery. in a really nice way. I just way. had surgery. Yes. Go up with your cast. He was like, I just know it's, oh, maybe your surgery is a thing. Yes. Oh, have your mother yes. go on. Have your mother do it. Have your mother Phyllis do the dirty work. I didn't even think of that. My son's <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's downstairs and it's, it's, it's triggering his tics. <laughs> and then you come out and a gimp, you come out all bandaged up, <laughs> drooling, and then. <laughs> Like, like you I'm so sorry. My mother told when I when I rented from Paul, from a Palmer Video and I had a video of a rental that I hid in my room for for years. That's the funniest years. story I've ever heard. And then she went there and told him, "I'm sorry, my son's <laughs> he got out of the house." <laughs> I rented this, so just tell Phil, tell Phil to take Nook, Nook from Old Sue's book. Yeah, I'm gonna have my mom do the dirty work. I'm gonna put her to work like one of your ladies. She's gonna be doing my laundry. She's gonna be doing everything. All right, so I'm not gonna give this, and I'll just wait until it's surgery time, and then have her be like, "Hey, my son has surgery." Phyllis now, has no problem doing that. But your mother has to act like a dyke when she goes up there. That's her natural state. <laughs> okay. I could have one of the bull dykes from the cubbyhole come over and fucking go up. My back really hurts. Do you think I'm dying? What's going, what's going on? Talk to me. Know. Talk to old Trish. I see you got a booger stain on your right tit. <laughs> Ew, yeah. What's this? Go, what's going on there? It's probably from breakfast. Ew. That's the omelet. <laughs> the, per the perfect omelet. The it perfect wasn't omelet. perfect omelet. It was at Chelsea. It was at Cafe Chelsea. Cafe Chelsea at the Chelsea Hotel? Yeah. It was good? Yeah. All right. We dined there a lot. <laughs> Get the ravioli. You see our boy Shane Gillis on SNL? I watched it. I you loved it. I thought it was fucking great. Well, I liked it. I, I was getting a lot, of, a lot of good... Is he getting backlash? I know that Vinny texted me something saying that it had... It says it's right there. Was, was there a backlash? He was getting a backlash? The fucking liberal, unfunny, loser, cuck media. I think, I There's think, like four people who got mad at it because he used the word <laughs> He used the word get. Yeah. It was just his stand-up set, which I thought was fucking yeah, great. He like, he's you, done some of that material before. Like, the Down Syndrome. Oh, so I mean, yeah, the opening so he was about so Down good. His family being Down Syndrome. He yep. talked about, you know, how he was supposed to work there and he didn't work there. Um, I think he hit a little all of the marks. But you know what? The, literally... Fuck off, everyone. That's what comedy is. If you can't, if you don't want to think things are funny, then go back in your little fucking cage and fucking hide. No one wants you out there. You're fucking a, 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 a you're you're a buzzkill. Yeah, it's like that's what comedy is. It's supposed to make fun of things in life. Things are things in life are hard. Life's life's tough. Fucking make jokes about it. Like get the fuck over yourself. And you entitled fucks just because you're this race or you're this fucking disability or this whatever. No one can fucking ever make, acknowledge you. Go fuck yourself. Every you, single person gets offended by comedy. Go fuck yourself. Honestly, it's the problem is that people who critique like comedy negatively are not in the business of being funny, so they don't know what is funny. They're and not, you, but they're not also not funny themselves, and they're attention whores. They have nothing yeah. going on in their lives. They they're the most boring, un unfucking interesting people, and they start so they make fucking offend, offend, uh, get offended by everything just to bring attention to themselves. No one's thinking about you. Go fuck yourself, honestly. If, if you're a diverse a di diversity columnist for the Washington Post and you're critiquing <laughs> a piece on Shane Gillis's opening monologue, why does your opinion matter? It does. You're jealous that he's on fucking SNL and you're not. It was nice to see like an actual like unafraid funny monologue. I, I wish you went further. Oh, I thought it was perfect. I thought it was perfect. Everyone saying he did. I mean, it, it wasn't. It was. It wasn't fun. The thing is, he, it wasn't funny for me because I know comedy. I know how, where he, what he wanted to, where he wanted to go, you and how he wanted to do back. it. It was toned back, so it, it didn't. It didn't. Everyone saying it was a flop. It wasn't a flop for me because I understood. Oh, I don't think it was a flop. But people are saying it was. It was like a few people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying it was a flop. I didn't think it was a flop. I just. Think, I just. I think he should have went further with it, but he, you can't. Go with it. I'm just glad he did that material and didn't just go up there and like make stupid jokes and like fall into like the whole like you know liberal cuck bullshit. Like, I mean, he went on he went on network television on a show that's been known to be like leaning more progressive to the to the to the point where it's become this almost like safe space weirdness, which they're starting to swing back on. Thank God. And he used the word gay, the word the word like all this stuff that you're not supposed to use i'm glad he did i'm glad that the the, that the segments of the right i know he's part of the race you told me he's part of the, the His lollipop friends, yeah. kills, whatever i'm glad that he um that, that the segments um tied into true to like his, his comedy, vibe and stuff yeah. like that and like what he's about like you know about like um i would just love to see what writers who initially like were like absolutely not we can't hire him i would pay to see I their noticed, face when he walked into that writer's room oh he's back fuck you you didn't let me work here that would be the I think a lot of people I, I also noticed that a lot of people in the skits it wasn't a lot of people in the skits I think the same exact people were in all the skits do you think that some people didn't refuse to work with him dude I don't know I would think like a Probably. Bowen I noticed Yang, it was only I, Bowen was in any scenes was he I don't know I don't think I saw him in any scenes but I also, I was, also the only person I saw in any of the scenes was not Chloe Fine, I mean the other one that's like 
That short Spanish kid was no, 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 no. The, the one girl that was in all the scenes with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you don't know if someone wrote. They like wrote the sketches, but just weren't in them. Like you, they don't necessarily mean. Yeah, I don't know. It, it seemed, but I watched it. I mean, I, I always just watch like monologue, and then like I watch a couple things here and there. I can never get through the whole thing because it's like. It's just not interesting. And then they had those that performer I didn't care for. And who's that? Oh, Twenty One Savage. Twenty One Savage. That was the worst musical performance I I've like, ever I seen in my life. Twenty One Savage. I like the songs that goes Twenty One. Like when I like you know. Like, <laughs> I like That's those, all he does. But I like those songs he does. But this song, um, I don't know. The ballerinas were cute. I don't know. I can't stay up till late anyway. But that's where I was at the uh, the birthday party, the Agent Orange Sucker Punch birthday party. And Grace was going to the SNL party with uh, after party with your friend Justin Mancini. After. Yeah, I guess it was pretty wild. I didn't get the invite. <laughs> I got the after after invite. They're like, it starts at four. I was like, ooh. And then good. at night? Yeah. I was like, I'm okay. I guess they party <laughs> till like 8 a.m. Like the SNL people. The SNL after. people do? Yeah. Every week it's like their big, like, let off steam. So all these cars. Is that what they're calling drug addiction? <laughs> That's exactly what they're calling. The second one was at the stand. I don't know where the first one was. Justin Mancini was gatekeeping. <laughs> you would have ate that up. Gatekeeping? No, you would have ate up. You do eat that up. You would have eaten up uh, the after party. I feel like I don't think so. I don't like any. I, I don't. Uh, there's not Wait, one the person SNL on SNL one? that I'm yeah. that I'm like in, in, like interested by at this point. I mean, who do I think is funny on there? Only Shade Gillis. No, but him. But besides him, and I know Keenan him. Thompson. Mm, nah. No, I, I don't. Like, I couldn't I, name a cast member to be honest. Yeah, with the you. cast. There's no one on the cast that I'd want to hang out with. I think like five or six years ago, like yeah. I mean, like yeah, ten like, years ago. Like, when it was like Kristen Wiig and fucking Maya yes, Rudolph yeah. and Tina all that, Fey, Tina Amy Fey, Poehler. all of them. Yeah, that then for sure I want to hang out. Do with you guys them. know Kyle Mooney? Oh, he's I love so Kyle. funny. Dude, I was at a thing in Jersey City and Kyle Mooney was there, and legit like nobody recognized him. I was like starstruck, and there was like maybe who's two, Kyle Mooney? Let me see. He was a writer. He's one of the funniest yeah. fucking so people, funny. Joey. Oh my god, is he funny? He's a singer. I mean, he's, I mean, he's, he's a this guy. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, he's hilarious. mostly a writer, but he would be in some sketches. He was funny on YouTube back in the day, but I saw him and like legit, like nobody even recognized him. Look up Alex Moffat. I think I played basketball with that guy. Kyle Mooney, though, Little Miss like, Moffat. Little Miss Moffat. Kyle Mooney is like, yeah, I do. He's an unbelievable basketball player. I think he's off. SNL and now, now he works on the show. Now he's, uh, I think he's like a Broadway queen now. Yeah, no, Kyle Mooney is like top ten. Oh, no, he's not. Top um, 10. Speaking of top ten, have you watched? Um, the chilling documentary, shockumentary with uh, Wendy Marie Williams. No, I haven't. A I lifetime. Have. Well, you had to wa- buy it, and I was like, okay. You I do guess have to I'll buy wait. it. Yeah. Or no, if you have, I think it's like through Hulu. You probably get it for free. I couldn't Hulu. find the real one. I have every channel unknown to man, and I couldn't figure out how to watch it. If you so I watch Prime. it on YouTube. I watched it on YouTube. I had. I have Hulu. I have Lifetime app. I have. I have full. I have full cable on through. Um. Not, I. I flew, you know through live TV through. You have YouTube, YouTube TV. TV. Yeah, YouTube is awesome. I couldn't find it there. How do you watch it? I think you have to go through. Um, I have through Hulu app. or through Amazon Prime, but or you can also just buy it. But I've seen. I was actually in a TikTok hole of this last night. The clips. She looks hot there. Baby girl looks rough in real life, but she has like dementia and aphasia, which is what Bruce Willis has. Look at that's you. You hung over episode two. Literally, that literally is me. What would you let's, um, let's talk about the beat? Which beat? I think she's using, you know, she yep. just wants to sit there forever. She wants extreme, you know, she wants to look good, so she uses bright, bright lipstick. Yep. It's kind of like you know, it looks like she did more work than she did. I mean, you know what? You know what? She's still major. I mean, I think she's like been through a lot. She has drug addiction and she has alcohol uh, alcohol addiction. She's been thrown in the spotlight. She's been had to perform like a fucking puppet for fucking twelve years on that show. And of course, it's gonna get you. Like everyone, she, she's just she just was a, a, a woman enough to fucking come come out honestly and told everyone that she was living in a halfway house and she was fucking a drug addict. She's living in a halfway house. She was living in a, in a, in a halfway house recently well, when she was on the show. What? She was living in a cocaine safe house. I had no idea. Yeah, she was. She would leave the show. She would go right to the safe house and oh, live, with all, shit. live with all recovering addicts, and she would live there under supervision the whole time. She, 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 she tell her when she says it. Oh my God, Wendy Williams reveals sober she's living. living. Go, go, go! With the thing where she she's says like, it on the on her show. How is this not mainstream? Huh? Just go to the quote. We can't watch her the clip of it on YouTube. Mm, no, because they'll mm. cut it out. All right, stop there, Vinny. So for me, you know, being a very an open, truthful person. She said this on her show. I've got more of the story for you, and I see my brothers and sisters caught up in their addiction looking for help. They don't know I'm Wendy. Okay, so she's there. These people don't even know that. Yeah, all right. So she's been living in a sober house. 24-hour sober coach. Didn't specify whether she'd be in cocaine addiction. Here's the thing about like. She would leave the show. They would take her right from the show, right to the sober wow. house. And she talked about her friends that she lived with. Then she would get in the car, cover the show. So That's she was living, dark, man. leaving the, you know, a, 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 a daytime talk show, a, you know, not nationally. 
um, show and go in the sober house. So she was very open about it. And everyone else fucking hides her addiction. Everyone's a fucking drug addict and a mess in Hollywood. And it's just that she, she was fucking real enough and fucking woman enough. They don't want to hate on her, but she was the realest bitch out there. I do think that, like, it, you wonder, like, does the drug use speed up things that were already going to happen? Yeah, I think that the like drug, drug induced. Um, psychosis, psychosis, and and you know, think people can go, people can get schizophrenia. I had a friend of mine who was who was a, a drug induced schizophrenic. Really, he was he was a normal kid, normal it's a math? normal kid. No, it was just so like I don't even know what it was. It was like whatever drugs he was doing. And um, I think if you're predisposed to certain things, pills and it's pills and speed it all up. different shit, like ran, random shit. But yeah, it's 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 it definitely can add to it. And um, you know, the alcoholism. She probably you know. Wasn't treating her body right. Crazy hours working. You know, well, she used to do that shows. radio show in uh, Atlanta where she started. And she was like, I had all these crazy hours. There's a clip about it. She's like, of course. She's like, I'm a little tired. I'll go do a blast of Coke and then wake up. And so that's how it all started for her. But I guess she was placed under financial conservatorship like a couple yeah, of years ago. And now people are mad because they think her kids are like doing her dirty by showing this. Because she's like, I want people to show. She's I want the executive to producer show. on the show. I know, but it's like, does she have the mental capacity to make the decision? Like, is this the right thing to yeah, do? Yeah, she wants to do that. She you, she says it all the time. She, and you see her on the documentary. She's like, okay, is it on? She goes, okay, no, I want to be on. She wants she as wants a it. as a cautionary tale. She's like trying to show it basically. A little bit, yeah. And she's just yeah. you know, and she's just showing like what I mean. I watched the, ex, ex, the entire thing, but yeah, she's showing like you know what what she's going through and you know how to, to either help other people or just to kind of clear her name. I think part I think part of it. Is you know that all her money is being held up by doctors, which I don't understand. What and do you Wells mean? Fargo, like she, there's a whole thing like about all her money is being held up by doctors and like Wells Fargo and like people around her are embezzling money from her. Yeah. So it's like about like you know she wasn't like I don't know if she was frivolously spending or what. It didn't seem like she lives in a like a like a little apartment in Jersey City. Like I don't think she's like having she doesn't have a huge house or anything. Someone put a TikTok of her up uh, at um, Dwayne Reed like recently just walking around like singing behind her cart. It's like Jesus. Man. Let her be fucking crazy. Life sucks. Yeah. What's with the con- I don't understand the rich people getting conservatorship. I don't either. Like if they blow all their money like what the fuck does it matter? If I blow my money no one's going to stop me. You know me. why? Like, because the family's on the payroll and yeah, if their money like, gets blown then they want to stop she the fucking money. Well it probably, it probably has stuff to do with also with like other things that we don't know about like that like that rich like famous people are into like whether it's investments in bre- businesses or properties or other like things that, that they're going to affect a lot more people People if yeah. they go if they go sour like or like what who she's what she's a, what organization or funding she's a chair on or or uh, Harpo I, not Harpo like her her entertainment em, uh, empire whatever they, there's like deeper things so I think more people are it's they it would affect so many more people than just her if she went off the rails so I think that's what like same thing with Britney like I'm not sure what she was involved in but like how many people yeah, are on the payroll them. indirectly or directly indirectly yeah. under but then the they payroll. force them to still work they they shouldn't have to work still. You know what I mean? Like, when, people when only... do you think I'm going to start getting? When do you think you're going to step into to, to be conservatorship under my estate? Uh, you have, <laughs> you have, you have two more. Uh, you have two more midweek parties where I see a, uh, where I see the baccarat crystal and the fucking the silver shrimp thing come out. I'm going to place you under conservatorship, you see motherfucker. That? On a Tuesday, uh, on a Tuesday night, I almost, I'm going to call your bank and go. I, I just need to go ahead and lock I this account love that. down. My seafood tower. And I'll tell you, it wasn't expensive. What'd you put on the shrimp? I look good. I put shrimp. I, I it's, it's my little secret. Um, you do need it. to be under con- financial conservatorship. I'm like. doing um, when I do my shrimp cocktail. I like to jazz it up a little bit. I just do a little bit of olive oil to stick, and I do some fresh chive, and it just makes it look a little more expensive and very country club. So every time I, when the country growing up, where I where I would go, <laughs> um, in the foothills of New Jersey, <laughs> I would. Uh, that's how they would oh. serve it to me. Um, out As of my fancy guess. feast cup. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> they put it in my dog bowl. Yeah. Now, Nana Speaking to... of dog bowls, you see, I'm um, that that, and now you know. Can I say something? Yes. Not for nothing, but Miss Peaches has shown her true color. She came from a bad neighborhood, went to the the high, and now she's starting acting up, by chewing through wallets, fucking eating up cups, chewing through hats. Watch out, Miss Peaches. Watch out, Mr. Portnoy. Mr. Portnoy. She's going to dig through that, that Goyard bowl you bought for $8,000. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I'm a little pissed that he didn't give me that bowl. He knows I like to eat off the floor. You think you would eat, would you eat off an $8,000 Goyard bowl on the floor? I have. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, let's talk, no, we never talked about Miss yeah, Peaches. Yeah, she needs to talk uh, I mean, about her. Gr- what, a, what, a, what a great message he's sen- send, uh, sending to, to adopt, not shop. And they've and raised so much money. I know, but those dogs, I mean, I don't think, I don't think Miss Peaches is a violent girl. But no. you know, she comes from a, she came from a bad neighborhood. Let me tell you something. Now she's showing her shoe colors. A zebra don't change its stripes. Boy. That's what I'm saying, sister. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You look at Miss Peach is wrong. She's gonna go ahead and snatch your. She'll snatch your wig right off your head. Yeah. 
Look I'm afraid this. you go in there with a lace front. <laughs> Eight. That, oh, she gets triggered. She'll, she'll, yeah, she'll, 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 she'll snatch it off my head and go sell it. Go sell it over on a, over in, in Key Biscayne. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she'll sell it in Brickle. Yeah. <laughs> she'll go with them rich white ladies in Brickle and try to sell that lace front, honey. I wouldn't trust Miss Peaches with uh, uh, as far as I can throw her. Oh please, Miss Peaches is a sweetheart. Miss Peaches does no wrong. She, look at that bowl. Look at that art. That's cool. You know, Travis had Travi had to make that. Not Travis. <laughs> Austin had to make that, believe it or not. Austin had to. Austin had to do stencil, mm -hmm. color by numbers. Miss Peaches, um, how no, many followers I'm, does she have? But what I know, she has more followers than both of us combined. Oh my god, um, we're seventy-two. <laughs> That's so fastest crazy. growing account in Barstool history, by the way. Herstory. Yep. Um, but you know what? They deserve each other. They do. Do you know what I mean? See, I remember how I would always say it's a a sign that it's like a warning sign, and it's lonely if your single guy gets a dog. What I've realized is that I can get a dog. I just need five hundred million dollars first. Well, <laughs> you see, a neighbor upstairs that doesn't make noise first. <laughs> yeah, my neighbor gets spooked. The dog thinks it's thunder. Now I'm like literally. Are you concerned. intimidated to meet Miss Peaches? Like, do you think she's like so? Because she's so much richer than you. Do you think like? <laughs> yeah. Has more followers than you. Are you gonna be like? You know, like are you gonna be like? You know, like? Are, have you ever been intimidated by an animal? Like I've been intimidated. Yes. I've seen, I've seen an animal that I thought was like if it was a if it was a human that he'd be like hot and I was like oh my god this dog is so hot like a Doberman. No, it was it's always just like you know like a really pretty like perfect dog like like a perfect handsome like dog. Golden. It's like, yeah, it's like yeah. it's like this like, like Ryan Reynolds of dogs, and I'm like I like feel like they're judging me for being fat. And I'm like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Do you Not, know what I mean? I wouldn't be like that with Miss Peaches, but uh, certain dogs, yeah. Like if you have a really hoity. Where did she dog, come from? She came from I believe it was Alabama, Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. 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 Ooh, a Southern Belle, which Georgia I think is like one of the worst states for like high kill shelters and stuff like Damn. that. Damn, that's where I got my my family's dog came from Georgia as well. What kind so of your girlfriend you know? has a name. What is her name? <laughs> <laughs> What's, imagine she opens her mouth. She just has a, a thick southern accent. <laughs> Mr. Portnoy, my food is over here. Right. Selling a little cha-ching or a lot. Shopify helps you do your thing however you cha-ching. Shopify is a global e-commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage all the way till do we just hit a million dollar stage. Shopify's there to help you grow whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits. Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system. We know Nana loves a POS. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify has got you covered. Shopify helps you turn your browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout, 36% better on average compared to other leading e-commerce platforms. You've been selling stuff on Shopify forever. It really I, is it was easy my to first, set up. Every time I had made my first merch, it was um, little patches I had I was selling. So I got Shopify right away because it was the easiest one. Um, Nicole's been using Shopify for her her. her brand since she became a star and she still uses it today for all of her snooki shops that's how she sells oh does in she store really and her in-store pos system and yeah shopify it's the best way to, to sell every major company uses spot shopify oh you would never you'd be surprised all the people you buy from all the retailers you're ordering from online in your in, in their stores or in, in a fancy boutique everyone uses shopify because it's so easy and it's seamless across all platforms you used to, use your, you used to sell acrylics on there yeah, I would do. I would. I would charge for my acrylics. <laughs> Sign up for uh, shop like Joey said. It powers Shopify powers ten percent of all e-commerce. I mean, we're talking Allbirds, Rothy's, Brooklyn, and all these entrepreneurs across one hundred seventy-five countries. All these companies. They Joey's all Patches use, com. Joey's Patches com. Icy Hot, which Dan is going to have on our lower back. Yeah. They all use Shopify. So sign up for one dollar per month trial period at shopify.com slash out and about all lowercase. Again, go to shopify.com slash out and about now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash out and about. That's a $1 per month trial period. <laughs> what happened with your arm, by the way? You punched a wall, you psycho? Uh, yeah, I punched a wall. Why? Don't, I'm having... Your team lost? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I scraped it. What happened? Talk I was knuckle dragon. Come, come, <laughs> come on, talk to old Trish. I know when you have these shoes on, that means something. What happened? This is an old star. Old she, hasn't, scar. she hasn't quite healed. You're not going to tell me what happened? No, I'd rather not talk about it. Let me know. Come, let's open up. This is safe space. I want to hear what happened with you. What's going on? What you, you punched a wall. Is this because of the Duke game? No, but I'm going to the UConn game. Are you? Madison Square Garden. Hell yeah. That's sick. Should we start gambling? I downloaded yeah, DraftKings. We love DraftKings. Draft Kings. Hashtag, Hashtag dash DK, partner. DK, partner. DK partner. I actually started. Turns out sports are very fun when you gamble. I downloaded oh. that little app. You got it? Well, I only went on there because you can see cute pictures of the people that you're playing against. It's <laughs> <laughs> another reason to go on. Do you have money in your account? Yes. Do you want to make a bet right now? We'll make it together. Dave didn't give you the, the opening 500 just to start betting on it? Oh, he only gave you 500? Thousand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm like, hey, uh, no, I don't have. I, I have Dropbox, DoorDash, and Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> DraftKings is not on there yet, girl. We, we call that the triple D's: <laughs> Dropbox, <laughs> DoorDash, and Domino's. <laughs> you have the Domino's app on your phone? Yes, it's about. That's, be- that's crazy. That's how wild. How'd you, keep, that's crazy. How'd you keep control of your your coupons <laughs> under your points? <laughs> Nana's got the tri- Nana's got triple D's: Dropbox, DraftKings, and DoorDash. <laughs> I'll have that's, to add that. That's fucking great. Um, in other news, did you see uh, what's on the, what's on the agenda? I didn't read it. Well, we have Joe Biden's dog is biting everyone in the goddamn White House. We saw that. Well, that's kind of boring, but I his mean, his dog's biting everyone in the White House. Yeah, he's bit every Secret Service member there is. Well, because he knows they're corrupt. <laughs> yes, yes, we do a political show. I'm not being political, but that may, I mean, in any in any situation, how is it? My question is, <laughs> here we America. Go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not being political, but America is the leader. America, listen, we are okay. This is like watching the same season of Drag Race all socks. over again with two fucking contestants that both need to win, uh, both need to sashay away. They're ill- elderly queens. Years ago, this is the same fucking. Why are we? Why are we fucking eight years later? And the same two queens are trying to lip sync for the legacy. There's no one else in the fucking world that wants trying to be to audition to, to, to audition to be the next American president of, of RuPaul's Drag Race. It's like <laughs> no one else. No one else. We have a fuck this senior citizen and this fucking loose cannon. This is the only people that are, are that are trying to be the president. Who would you like to see in there? It doesn't matter, but how are we eight years old? It's the same two queens. I'll tell you. Well, well it's, There's well, it's, no one else? Well, it's a complicated issue. I mean, it's, it's about money. It has to be, has to, it's all a, a money Robert game. Ke- it has to be the richest thing in the world. How is Joe Biden rich? His family's all meth heads. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Like Where is the hundred and fifty thousand hunter? <laughs> no, but I'm, do, you know, do you know what I mean? Is no one else bewildered that this is our only options? And we have the, the, how many it's people in the United insane. States? It honestly there's, is. There's insane. billions of people in the United States. There's no one else Maybe to pick Uncle, from. Uncle D should <laughs> run. Uh, but don't you understand? We, we they, they went against each other. This will yeah. be the third time they went against. No, no second well, time. Third second. time for Trump. Second. So whatever. Time it doesn't matter. Why is this the only people? And you know what's so ironic about it is that Trump won on the border the Anybody. first time. And no now, one else wants to step up, their, step their bussy up and lip sync on the main stage. <laughs> Are you announcing your run for president right now? No, I would never do that. He's going to be Uncle D's running mate. Uncle D's running mate. It is ironic. Donnie run on the on the border the first time and now the second time because the Dems are trying to slow it up. He's going to win on the border. It's like again. It's, I'm watching the same and episode over and over. In I've, watched, I've seen brother. this episode. These are fucking reruns. Yeah, I know there's a writer's ridiculous. strike, but fucking give me something else to watch on TV. This is so annoying. Who are you voting for? Trump. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, this guy's too. This yeah, guy's he's 100 years fucking old. Fucking too old. There's nothing going on back. At least the other one can, doesn't shit himself, and he can fucking speak. Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> Maybe a little taboo, but it's like this. This guy, poor guy's gonna die before, and then we have to end up with uh, fucking Kamala. Kamala. But Camel not, to be, not to be political. We Camel have to say that. Harris. <laughs> we have to say that. Not to be I'm not being political. I'm just saying. It should be a segment. Not, not to be political. Be politi- that's a segment. It's not, not political. political. It's, Write it down. Not to be political. It's American observation that I'm saying that there's the only two queens that are trying to win. It's, trying to be it's the president? It's fucking weird. It's really weird. After all these fucking years, no other one sets their bussy up? I don't think anyone wants it. It's too much of a pain in the ass. Oh, well, it's annoying. Power, you have to be a it's power like I'm not queen. even interested in watching the show anymore. The show meaning the, show, the, America, like the news. The it's like watching news. America. Yeah. I, that's a weird thing about me. I watch news every night at 630. I like end up in front of the TV. Is before that your bizarre? blue plate special? Before my blue plate. What's my blue plate special? That's like you're a senior. You eat like dinner at six o'clock. Oh, before, my, <laughs> before my Meals on Wheels comes? Yeah, not to be political. We just do. Is Factor that sponsoring your your surgery? Is what? Is Factor Meal sponsoring your surgery? Because you know, because you know, uh, Phyllis, Phyllis can't cook in that little kitchen. Oh, she's. Oh God, I'm worried about. She's that. gonna bring. I have to bring her crock pot. I have to go out and get. <laughs> she's gonna have to get her crock pot. I have to go out and get new flatware for old Phyllis. I'm like buying things. I was like, I should probably have like my closet not be like the floor of my living room. You know, not I have to that buy I'm an saying, armoire. I have to buy. A fucking... Not to say that you're not. You can't afford real things. But I know that you're frugal in something that you don't really care about, and I don't think you care about flatware. Um, you should go uh, to, not at you all. You should go to Fish's Eddies. You can get dinner plates, fucking what's it called? Fish's Eddies. It's right. It's right on Broadway. You can get like everything. You can get a whole house full of stuff for like thirty dollars. Really? And forks, knives, spoons. They have cute little cups and stuff. It's it, then they're all like handmade in New York. Oh, you know what it it's is iconic. Ah, uh, oh. they all cute stuff. You, the basics, like for basics, you can get like every email me this plain thing. plates, plain forks, plain spoons, coffee cups that say coffee on it. Like anything, coffee. they have cute stuff, but they also have classic stuff. And it's like you can like literally get a fork for like two dollars and twenty five cents. Where is this? It's right on Broadway in like eighteenth. Uh, Do you hear something really strange? I for the I don't have possessions ever, and I've always Spiderberg said this too. He's like I've always moved with a car and a backpack and a suitcase, and for the first time in my life at age thirty four, I'm like buying like furniture and all these things, and I'm like, oh fuck, 
this is what my life is. I'm actually living here. I have to like put down roots to a degree for the first time. I'm having like an existential crisis that this is my life is really living in this fucking little place in the West Village. This is what it is. It's like I don't. It feels like a way. It's yes. It's fucking depressing. That's all we got. Isn't that weird? It's like putting down roots for the first time. I feel like holy fuck. This is what my life is. This is literally what my life is. Yeah. I've always th- I've always held out. Be like this isn't life. This isn't life. I'm going to be somewhere else. I'm going to be doing this. And now it's like, okay, this is my couch. This is my this. This is my this. It's like, I guess I have to spend money on the things that people spend money on in a house, but I guess just in New York. Well, so, you could have, you just have to, you know, you have to prioritize what's important in your life. My shoulders. <laughs> Shout out to Barcelona Sports Insurance, by the way. I don't know if I said this. It's, 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 it's Good better. fucking Lord. My yeah. surgery would have cost me $78,000. Barcelona Sports Insurance, 250 bucks. What? Well, that's how all insurance Dude, is. No, yeah. My insurance no, now is better than when I worked at like a massive financial. We are insurance is crazy. But is it all insurance good. like that? It. Maybe no, I always have, have, maybe I always have, have good, good insurance. Plans, yeah. you, you've, you I think you plans. have had good insurance, but some of them are like yeah, you could have not good plans. Huge sure. deductibles. Right. So we got a shout out to them. Um, what else do we have? Uh, I have something. I don't know if you guys want to talk about yeah. it, but that I didn't put on We're the sheet. We're good. It's like what was it? Kelly Keegs's meltdown about the owl. What is this owl? Should we wa- can we watch it? Yeah, yeah, we can watch that. Um, I found I did some research on it, a, l- a brief reading of what it was, and apparently, it's an owl named Flacco that escaped. F- someone broke its ca- like, like escaped, <laughs> broke him out of the zoo in New York, the, the, the Central Park Zoo. So he was he was tagged though. So instead of trying to catch them back again, he they let him stay in the park, and they 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 just kind of found out where they, they had tips on where he was at all times. Yeah. So they can he can fly around. So it became like a national treasure to go in the Central Park and find Flacco. They and, had an air tag on. And they, yeah, so they knew where he was at all times to make sure that he was healthy and not like being hurt and stuff. So they'd monitor him after he was after he escaped his enclosure or after they broke him out of the enclosure. First of all, brush your fucking hair. <laughs> Yo, I just woke up. And I know I look like fucking garbage. I'm really hungover. I'm probably still drunk. I just woke up and saw that Flacco the owl has died. Okay? And like, I'm a really dramatic person, but I really loved Flacco. And he like died in the street or something crazy. They like gave horrible details. And like, I like... The bald eagle died like three days ago and I was upset, but I was like, you know, it's not Flacco at least. And Flacco is dead. Like, I'm I'm in hysterics. Like, I'm not okay. And like I said, I'm really hungover and like probably still drunk. And I know I look, I look like garbage, but like Flacco is dead. The owl, the owl. Do people know? I've been talking about him nonstop. Like, it just feels crazy. I feel terrible. I, this is fucking horrible. Rest in peace to Flacco. Like, I feel horrible right now. Horrible. Yeah, I mean, so apparently, so, so apparently he, um. How'd he die? He, he, dropped, he ran himself into a building. I would say shout out to Flacco. Waco Flacco. Waco Flacco Flame. That's wild. That's One sad. Owl. It's terrible. Um, do you want to put Diego's hair up? Can I make clip back? They're there. Come on, Diego. Pop the hat. Come on over to Nana. Been talking about doing this for a while. <laughs> uh, Can you do pigtails? No, I only have one clip. Uh, I only got one banana clip. It's like hurts. Vinny, do you have a scrunchie? Pain is beauty, darling. <laughs> Fashion hurts. <laughs> In the mouth. Hold still, sis. That's I would a- love to carve you can yeesh. Ow. Let me say. Ooh. Set it off. Looks weird. Not bad. <laughs> Do I have to tell someone here that I'm going to be out? Like, should I tell Dave? He doesn't care. Should I be like, that hey, you're out for Wednesday? I'm out for like, I don't know, five days. Should I be like, hey, just a heads up? Or should no. We get- I mean, if you want to. I don't I don't know how that works, but you're having surgery. Do you have to get request time off from first to have a surgery? No, I think just to let them know, I think it would be nice, right? I think, you just want some, I think you're trying to get some financial support or a gift from him. Imagine. I go, hey, can you cover the $250 copay? A gift would be nice. So you only a want push to tell present? Him, you only want to tell him so he'll like send you like a get well present. There is not a world where he would send me a get well present. He bought that pitbull a fucking nine thousand dollar bowl. Well, the pitbull's more valuable than me. <laughs> True that. So do we have any ideas on who we're, who you want to bring in here? I'm not telling anyone until that day up. Until it's, day up. I know who it's gonna be. Leah. No. No? No. Tara. No. 
Snooks. Yes. Is it? Mm-hmm. Do we have that in writing? I don't even decide yet. Maybe my late mother. You do. You do a whole one via Ouija. Okay. Well, wish me luck. Well, Godspeed. I think you're going to be just fine. And I, I think do it's too. Gonna be, I think you're setting yourself up. I had my whole body from the neck down you removed. Did. I forgot about that. So I know that, like, I know that the, the, even that was like, I woke up and I was like, oh, that's it. It's like, so I, I'm sure you're the little two holes in your shoulder. It's going to be a lot less dramatic than you think. I mean, it, uh, you know, I wish you well, but I think you're going to wake up surprised that it's not as bad as it is. I do too. Positive attitude, glass half full attitude. Um, I will not see you on Friday. Joey will see you on Friday. Um, we love you. Like, subscribe, comment wherever you have to. And she's having her surgery. Um, Imagine I come back with just uh, I come back with facial. She's having her surgery today at. So if you want to send flowers to her room, her name is Patrick <laughs> Wells. She'll be there for the hours. Anywho, thank you, everyone. See you on Friday. Imagine he dies, and that was the last. Say something nice if you do die. Oh yeah, if I die. <sighs> I don't know. If I die, just carry on, I guess. I have yep. nothing left to say. I, I, I think it will be so funny if this whole thing was a ruse and I came back with a brand new nose. It happens in threes. A brand new jawline. the owl. Um, Patrick the pelican. Yes. And, <laughs> and, 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 yeah. <laughs> and Trish the toucan. Yeah. All right. We'll see you Friday.